it's the one and only big bad boy bearded bugger himself broke your back with your daily dose of destiny dependent dialogue. In today's episode we are doing a five minute review of the exotic gauntlets winner's scale here modelled by my warlock. Now your first question will probably be is this armour class specific and we can answer that by checking out the exotic perk. Now the exotic perk on these particular gauntlets is warlord sigil. Eliminating enemies with melee attacks increases your melee damage. Now that covers every class. Now in this footage you will see me use these exotic gauntlets against these acolytes. And as you see, the exotic perk triggers. And not only that, but it stacks up to five times. Now the second question you may be asking is, is this exotic piece of armour for PvP or PvE? Now due to the massive nerfs that melee attacks have taken in Destiny 2, this is strictly a PvE piece. Now let's see it in action again and see what damage multiplier it does. So 619, 928, 696, 1,044, 1,566, and 2,349 damage. Let's go for another one. 310, 928, 696 again, and then finally 2,088. Now we'll go through that final sequence again, this time in slow motion. As you see, we hit this for 696 damage. We have Warlord Sigil times 3. As you see, you get about 6 seconds to use it before you, it will run out. And then we just make it here in the nick of time with it flashing. And boof, 2088. And on the slow motion, you actually see we kill 2 Acolytes with the single melee. That explains the abnormally high damage of 2,088. Now the third and final question is, should you keep this exotic or shard it? Now before I did this video, I was thinking I was going to tell you to shard it. Because with its intrinsic exotic perk being totally melee based, and the game moving away from abilities to more of a gunplay, I did not think this uh, had any use at all, whether it was PvP or PvE. But having used it and seen that the exotic perk not only procs pretty well, you have a decent amount of time to use it, but it actually stacks up to five times. Meaning that at the end you could do 2,349 damage with a melee. I definitely suggest you keep this. And if you want any more evidence why you should, watch the following clip. What you'll see here is I decide to test this to the max to see just how much damage it can really do to a major target, in this case a major ogre, and how quickly, unbelievably, this takes it down. What you see here is I take out the acolytes to build up my sigil to level 5. Test it on the night, no problem. 1, 2, and that is it for the Ogre. Two hits and it's down. An amazing achievement for this. As you see there, 2,349 damage on both hits. Meaning we melt this Ogre. Now, if you've done this particular Lost Sector on time, you know this bat be a right bugger to kill. But we just smoked him there with nothing but melee attacks. So that is why I am telling you, you should definitely consider using these gauntlets. Now especially if you're someone who runs multiple characters and you're running multiple classes perhaps, these gauntlets are the perfect ones to use because you do not need to take them off to use certain class abilities. Now that is it for today's episode. If you liked what you saw please feel free to like, share or subscribe or indeed check out one of the videos listed above. If you want to keep up to date with what's happening on the channel follow me on Twitter at Official Rogues. And until next time, remember. Eyes up, Guardian.